Hi, I'm Dr. Theo Spad. Uh, te welcome and uh, thank you for in, uh, joining us for this video. Today's video, we're going to talk about acupuncture. Acupuncture, as you probably already heard about, uh, has been around for more than 2,500 years. There's been still a debate on where exactly acupuncture comes from. I'm here just to give you a few information. Hopefully, this will enlighten you on some of the information and also be helpful for you to know what acupuncture is. And if you feel it's beneficial, we'd be welcome to uh, see you as well here at Rio. So let's get started. So acupuncture, uh, as you probably already heard, it's been around. People think that it's been around for more than 2,500 years, uh, and it's come from China. But that's not really the case. In 1991, there's a hiker in uh, south of Italy. He went he hiking and he found a mummy uh, that was uh, buried under uh, the snow. Um, and he was mummified. And they nicknamed him Artist the Iceman. You can actually Google online and read his history. What's interesting about him is that um, on his body there was 61 tattoos. And the researcher and the scientist, what they did was they actually used his body, they put it in the MRI, they put it in the uh, PET scan, CT scan it as well, just to see internally what's going on with him and how did he die and so forth. So they found out that he actually uh, was uh, shot from the back and that's how he perished. And um, the acupuncture tattoo that, the tattoo that they saw on his body, as they mapping it out, they noticed that from uh, the PET scan and the MI that this gentleman not only have low back pain, but he also have H. pylori and he have other medical condition as well. The tattoo that's on his body actually uh, match with the acupuncture point uh, for low back pain, for kidney pain, and for other medical condition that he had. Not only that, what interesting about it is that uh, the two that he have, which was buried with him uh, due to the snowfall on it, that was keep uh, well reserved, they dated back all the way back to the um, Copper Age, which is about more than 5,300 years ago. So how did the, how do how do the acupuncture work? Well, a lot of skepticism regarding about. Uh, acupuncture because the Westerner doesn't know and so they like to know how that how can you explain acupuncture work well with the modern new technology modern research modern knowledge like in physiology biochemistry uh, and pharmacology especially with all the new technology machine that they have they're able to measure the bioelectrical biochemical and also the biofeedback from uh, the research during the acupuncture and what they found out in acupuncture is that it's able to once when the patient receive uh, acupuncture they able to stimulate the acupuncture able to stimulate the release of like uh, endorphin serotonin uh, GABA uh, norepinephrine dopamine which help people to reduce their pain, help people to reduce their stress, which help people to enhance and improve their immune system as well. But by saying that, how uh, people still wonder, and, they, and the public out there still question, what is the validity, the validity behind, what is the validity behind acupuncture? So I was here to tell you, in 1960, there was a North Korean scientist, his name is Kim Bu Hang, and he was able to isolate uh, the, the, the blood vessel itself. And then he found under a super micros uh, microscope and also electronic material back then that not only the inside but also the outside of the blood vessel and also lymphatic system, there is the nuclear type. And there's the also that they have a different DNA as well. And here's the scan, that, here's one of the pictures that I can show it to you. So as you can see, each one of the blood, as you can see from the picture itself, which is under um, super uh, microscope, we're able to identify that the blood vessel have its, each one of the blood vessel have its own, um, have its own nuclear and its own DNA, as you, as you can see from the picture on it. Now, how, so how did, that, how did this work? Well, apparently in traditional um, acupuncture, uh, back in, um, Three decades ago, everything is either written under the textbook or 
people believe there's the energetic uh, anatomy that is being moving when we do the acupuncture treatment. So what uh, Mr. Bohang did was he used the tripan blue dye and he injected directly into the acupuncture point. And it was the correct point of the acupuncture, the dye actually show up on the body. And he can see the meridian moving as well on the body itself. And uh, here's the chart from the, from the acupuncture. As you can see the human uh, chart, it's a meridian. There are 12 different meridians that are running up and down your body. So what exactly is the energetic anat anatomy? Energetic anatomy is actually an energy um, in the body that, that uh, is considered a life force that got given to you. So without the life force, you won't be able to breathe, eat, or walk. And so, that's, so those are the energetic body is also considered the meridian itself. And in it, they have the, what we call a vital energy. And vital energy, in Chinese, they call it the qi. And so without the qi moving, uh, just picture that if the qi, just like your blood circulation, if it doesn't move, it doesn't circulate in your body, and that's how the medical condition able to manifest itself. So when we put the needle into a certain area, it's helped to remove the blockage or those stagnation of the qi. So by moving the qi, just like the blood circulation, that's how it's able to heal the patient. And nowadays, uh, the public have been seeking acupuncture for uh, uh, like insomnia, to reduce insomnia, uh, to reduce their stress, uh, to de reduce their pain like back pain, joint pain, and so on and so on. And at the moment, acupuncture treatment is being used all over the world, not only in China, in Southeast Asia, not only in India, Japan, Taipei, but Europe now, especially French, Germany and also England been using them. So it has been spreading worldwide and uh, it's work in the, now that we know because of the new technology that we have, we're able to identify how the meridian is moving and how it's able to help release those pain or, or those medical and also help to relieve the medical condition that the patient has. Uh, now if you or your friend or your family member recently been diagnosed with uh, cancer, please check out our website at riomedical.com to learn more of what treatment we offer for all types of cancer. And uh, once again, uh, thank you and thank you for checking us out. And Hopefully we will be able to see you and soap you someday.